a fucking day. What the hell is this? A new Ken's Games collection video? Sick! What the hell is this? You change. Happy birthday, Mom. There's goodness in every. Oh, I hate commercials! Yeah, so as you can see, I knew it would happen. You know, as soon as Ken's Games Collection hit a thousand subs, he was so quick to activate that AdSense. Oh my God. It's crazy, you know, he's got pretty good content. Um, you know, he, he puts out quality content, so it's frustrating. I think I clicked on a Tomb Raider video and immediately I got hit with two ads. I'm like, oh fuck, here we go. And then I skipped them and then I'm watching the video and then I, I skipped ahead a little bit, boom! I got hit with another ad, so it's like fuck. <laughs> All for the sake of a, you know, upsizing your coffee or your French fries or your Big Mac at the end of the, at the end of the month, I guess. To each their own. I just, you know, Ken, if you're watching this, and he probably is because he doesn't watch my channel. It's like you put so much effort into your, your content and your videos. You know, why would you why would you taint the viewer's experience by making them, you know, sit through these greasy, god awful ads? Like for God's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, today's topic, a real short video here. Uh, so as most or some of you know, uh, I don't plan on jumping into the uh, next gen of, of, the, of the new consoles coming out, excuse me. However, you know, if the Series X ends up being truly backwards compatible with all of the other previous Xboxes, you know, maybe it is something to consider down the road. But for the time being, um, I've been thinking about something else here, and I'm going to get into it in a moment now. I helped my mother buy a new car a couple of days ago, and uh, with that being said, she wants me to basically sell her old car on my driveway because you know, you guys know how it is if you try to give your old vehicle to the dealership, especially one that's got like close to 200,000 kilometers, they're just going to do um, a, a cash and trash scenario where, where they'll give you like 300 bucks for it so I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit more for her vehicle hopefully closer to a thousand and she said uh, you know if I can sell the vehicle I can keep the cash myself which is pretty cool so what I'm thinking maybe you now I just want to bounce this idea off you guys and maybe you guys can help me make a decision maybe I'll get a 4k TV not a big one I don't know yet maybe I could get a bigger one for the living room or I could get a smaller one for my Genesis room and the reason why I bring that up is because I've been thinking a, a nice alternative to getting a next gen console, maybe I would get an analog uh, SG, Mega SG. So that's the uh, basically the modern take on the uh, Sega Genesis made by the company Analog. And uh, for those of you who aren't aware of, of what it is, it's $189.99 USD. So that comes out to about 250 bucks Canadian. Now, I don't know what the shipping is on this thing. I don't think I can buy this locally. Anyhow, the analog SG, it runs your Sega Genesis carts like out of this world, uh, natively in uh, HDMI, you can hook it up to a modern TV, and you can even get what's called an 8-bit DOE controller, and uh, it's wireless as well, or you can plug in your original Sega Genesis controllers as well. So again, I'm not a huge advocate of upscaling older games, I, I'm just fine using the uh, you know, the composite, uh, you know, the red, whites, and the yellows, I don't have a problem with that, even though Metal Jesus Rocks makes it sound like you can't play your games like that. That couldn't be any further from the truth. As well as playing all these older games on an older TV, obviously you're not going to get that input lag as well, but getting ahead of myself. I thought it'd be cool maybe get a, uh, a Mega SG and maybe get a 4K TV and put it in my Genesis room, just an idea. Or maybe get a bigger 4K TV and put it downstairs and uh, maybe hook up the uh, the Mega SG to the TV. Or maybe, I don't know if it's possible, maybe I could hook up the, uh, plug in the Mega SG 
like run a cable to the Xbox so they're connected. I don't know, we'll play around with it, but I thought it was a cool idea. I don't have the, the biggest back catalog of games for the Genesis, but I have a pretty significant catalog. And uh, also as well, I know there's those EverDrive carts you can get out there where it's basically a, a Genesis cart. Uh, you can plug an SD card into it and you can load it up with ROMs. I don't know, I'm not really crazy with ROMs these days. Uh, I really like having the original copy of the games. But, I don't know, there's something about this Mega SG. I wasn't really crazy on the, um, the Super NT, so that's Analog's version of the Super NES. It's nice, but I think, obviously, I'm invested right now with the Sega Genesis, and I've been playing it a hell of a lot more lately. Uh, I think, you know, it'd be nice to have maybe a modern Analog uh, Mega SG plug it into a modern TV. Uh, downstairs would be cool as well. I think that would be a lot of fun. So that was what I was thinking. I wanted to bounce it off you guys. I think 4K TVs have gone down in price a little bit. Maybe maybe not. Let me know. I'm not the most educated on TVs. Uh, if any of you guys out there are familiar with the Mega SG, maybe uh, leave it in the comments below. Uh, let, let me know what you think of it. Uh, and we'll go from there. So I really want to hear from you guys. Again, this was supposed to be a coffee and conversation episode. So I don't know if you guys can read that. Maybe I want to look cheap. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching. You people are wonderful and beautiful. You take care.